broke it. Oh, oh, clean headshot onto Tessa. Shush has to do more. They're coming for him. He knows it. And he still handles business. Soul three. It's a late go. They're trying to isolate Shush here back inside. Oh, he's got the perfect position. Can he get more? Can he get away? Hoping for help. And Yabi provides oh, it. Three. Oh. Shut down. Silence. Trouble. Carrigan gives it a go, but it stands moment in the sunshine. He's got 22 frags, Chad. Oh, and make it 23. He has come in with a purpose. Be it divine. And Tess just looking to put one in his spine. <laughs> Denied. But the message is sent all the same. Yeah, that one. Rain, have to know now, they're coming for you. He wants to take the shots, they've given Stan the ace, and his ascension is now for Heroic here. Look at this, straight out the heart like a speed demon. Twist goes down, and he just flatlines every single phase member. This is the Stan we hear about. This is the Stan we, we dream about, especially Kadian. This is a player everyone wants on your team. That's yes, yes, just on his clears as well. They throw Util into the top side. Brokey now trapped. Caught out was Tessess. Close quarters. Combat orping. Brokey. Straight face. Oh, wow. Straight laced. And straight shooting. Yeah, that flash could be worth its weight in gold. Not if he's forward. in the smoke. He could go past him. And they might just meet him. Great screens. Charging Carrigan. He gets nothing done. But twists. It's his turn. Mows them all down on the MP9. Oh, yeah, you see Ooh. definitely a, a big gap providing itself. They're going to come through this. They're on their way. Setups here. Good flashes. Rops. He is supposed to be the way in, but he's escorted out. Off the premises. Shush. This is his site. And he continues to lay down more and more from Shush. Oh, five from the Dane. Beautiful stuff here. Stown's not going to be the one to step up the plate. Shush will be. This guy right here, an anchor player for Heroic, comes in clutch. Well, this ain't a clutch, but it is impactful. Ace right here. Mowing him down. Not a single headshot in sight. Beautiful. Just body shots with that silence. Dem four. Takes him down. Is this really the round? Oh! Testus doesn't think so. Set up for success. And caught, chased, alive and kicking. Rotation's here now. they got to get that bomb. they got to get a go. There's so much in rotation. Tessus hunted. Oh, he gets away from Rops. And he he's in that. Tessus. He keeps him alive. Heroic. They got Tessus to thank for that one. A quad kill from the Dane. That one might get a couple of cheers. Here it is. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Tessus. That is perfect. You see that? You have to snap shot. And even the final one. Whoa. Broke it. You let him off the leash. 20 seconds. And he goes to use every second of it. Tries to force Cadian forward, giving him nothing, not hearing that plant, and it's allowed for Shush to come around. Spots him out, needs the execution, but surely, surely Cadian. Oh! oh! Loses his head! Twists! No time, but still nails it! Impossible here. He has sure, the there's kit. a kit, but there's not a whole lot else. He's got the smoke. Getting across down, but he's hiding. He's nervous. And across now is Carrigan. Maybe he's they can just it. hold it. He's just going to hold it. And it's going to be a phase clan round. A ninja defuse. And Carrigan refused to surrender. Yeah, call the bluff. Brasno, the Polish talent, comes through. And here he is now. Kioz, fan favorite. He who was chanted for on his approach. Vitality's homeboy. Frag grenade goes out, not destined to find either two. Oh! The shots are clean now, huge advantage. Looking to phase the smoke now. Waro will recede. Bomb left in this oh. interesting position. Oh my oh. god! Emma! He steps up and says, Monty, step down. Bomb down again. Forces SDY to double back, and they're gonna jump on this in an instant. But Kios, oh, there's an answer! And Imma, does he have a little bit more? It's right there for him. Fresh bag to the Deagle. Oh, a third kill out of him. Almost enough. This position. Don't play your hand too soon. Don't give it up here. Wait. And you shall receive exactly what you need to take Monty into nine. Demka comes back. Triple kill from him. And the flash is on the dot. There's oh, the duel. That's and some die young can't hold it. Krasnel's going to slide into the similar angle. He will at least clock Kios off the play. 
Bomb still yet to exit. Time becomes of the essence, and Boros is given a chance. But his counterpart, Nima, shuts it down. Krasno in the open floor, 15 to that clock. Now things start to get hectic. And Acors found his spacing within this bomb site. A retake between Demka and Waro queued up. Low health on the star of Gamer Legion. Window gets pressed. He's on four. He's gonna try to take it every step of the way. Look at this confidence. Hits the inspect. And Acor, Acor does the it. rest. Emma put him on t-shirts. Look at this. I am gives him nothing. And a bit more damage. It's just enough time for Boros to move over. Insta-kill to Kios. Took very little damage. Offers up a bit more health by stepping in the flames. And this man. Oh, he gets shut right down because Isaac has found his biggest moment so far in this series. Did Isaac get warmed up? Four kills before entering this round. And playing from a scary more moment, puts up three clutch frags to boot himself on seven. Of course, so far away. Slipped through. Boro had just cleared that. He had just checked connector. And given another second, I, I swear he turns back around. But now there's an open door being just taken off its hinges. Demka's gonna try to put up some kind of a defense, but this one has been evened out. And while on fire, with three kills separating them from a map win on Mirage, Ima goes above and beyond. Aim high, me high. He has done so well tonight. Krasno's answer tries to push it back to the stairs, and Kios pinned. He wants the AK swaps. They beat, and they end them. This chance. And Acor, give it a moment. What? Recovers with the double. Just like that. What looked like an evacuation route for Monty turned in to a road painted by their bodies. Kioz moves Bomb down to B. The plant is there. Now, he has no support from Acor, but he's coming in. Yeah. And because Krasnow lost those teammates on that forward A presence, makes sense that he was running upwards. It's going to need to be a beautiful retake. Doesn't have a kit. And so he's gonna have to move quick. He's fallen silent. Kios rounds the corner back. Krasnow peeks to short first, back exposed, and head popped by Acor, who offers up a multi-frag to kick off overpass. Shot back to the second guy. After Imma failed to kill one with the P250, one would have been compensation enough. Two was the round. Maybe this one comes up upside down for the tease. This could be the time that the pistols end up working out. USPs find two. And Isaac now so busy that he lets his guard down. 20 seconds. And Hold finally, up. they have it so close, but they don't overextend. There's nowhere for Gamer Legion to go. Either cut your losses, or you're going to fall on the front of that ace site. Monty, bounce back fast. They pull off the impossible. They have no investment in this round. Pause. They've sat here. And with weapons now retrieved, there's pressure on Krasnel. He takes it down towards Monster. And we've got a clutch queued up. But this is where Waro has offered us excellence. This is where Waro should strike fear in the heart of the Gamer Legion. Ima concerned about short doubles back, point blank! Oh my god! The Romanian comes out on top! An amazing round with just USPs themselves. It wasn't like, oh, there was tons of tactical depth and Kios. Sit. He's been a barber today too. A clean one on the jump up. And that's a rifle down. Another oh, push oh. shut down by Kios. <gasps> Two rapid headshots. All the pressure on Demka now. Loses the entire support system. Oh, but Demka dominates the monster. And while Kios can bring it back, he swaps out. Got an excellent T side already rolling. Oh. You've got a 2v5 attempt queued up. You've got Waro pushed forward. The bomb site's looking like yours. But SDY offers up yet another double. The one of the 10 players who has experience in a stadium like this in a quarterfinals. And now he's playing like it's playoffs. But they still got a lot of work to do. Running from it. He's benefiting. Mag 7 desperate, but does set up. Oh! Was meant to. Isaac! He said, you talked about me. Yeah. Great reaction from Stiko, considering that B lane aggression. Really cool. Gets across the temple before Naf can confirm it. OC will have to acknowledge it. Naf trying to contain them. Jacob gone, sure, but Stiko still sneaking. Two main and two on that A site. Stiko 
He should have at least one, but the tree the discipline on the main stage. He's holding his nerve. He's holding his nerve. Oh! Double trouble. Steko efficient with his ammo. And he's opened up the site. Now they know there's likely one more, but where? Steko locking down the rotations. Nitro, he would have to hit a perfect headshot, but it's Steko <laughs> day. That's all him. He came to play. Massive work right there. They had no idea about the flank and even gets away with it in a game like this. The pressure, you know you got to pull the trigger a little bit oh. quicker. But Stiko's going to take them all. You're kin to make anything out of this one. Look at that smoke. Yeah, that seals his fate. And maybe. it's consistent. When you watch Apex play, they have the stubbornness. They always want to push up the backtracks. Uh, okay, you kinda. Is that yep. enough? It might be, you know. No. Getting a cruel game played with him here. You kinda. Looking for trouble. Overtaken! Oh! And he executes Nork! And found the M4. Elige applies his trade nicely with the recovered rifle. Nork, this in. forward position is all in. And he's going to have all of them. Sprays him down on the Famas. Still awkward, though, with 13 seconds. I don't know if Yukinda can really get this. He needs to die. He just was looking for death, looking for destruction. There it is, provided by Nork. He'll build another. Can he get any more? He's zoned in right now, like the conviction as well behind his moves, and that's for the rest of the team. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, oh, oh. It doesn't get better. Getting the kills and setting his teammates up. It can get a timing. The barrel is going to be spotted, Ooh. but Nork ready for it nonetheless and gets the second. Naf down two. Call that 11. The corner now, Jake and Confirms, nothing across. Now starting to connect. Nitro spotted, boost directed, and the planting bank side. The planting bank side, stand up. Hit your shot. He does onto a liege. But look at Naf. Look at Naf. Oh, he could do so much with this. Hold your horses. Hold your liquid horses. As Naf is oh! going to turn around on him. Still a tickle of the bomb. Naf needs to check. They don't have answers. OC reveals himself. Panicking. Now hits the shot. OC steps up. Oh, no, no. Running, running him down and denies the 12. Scope heard. And nothing to report. Crowd betrays JL. Tough scenes on Nork. He's only got one, two. OC nervous. No way. Oh! He's down. Nork again. He stands up. The clutch master in Paris. What is this? Like what is great? And then he suddenly changes the whole game onto Yakinda. And OC just quaking in his boots. Out of bullets as well. Bap, bap, bap. That's 14. Puppet master played a great game. Stiko, chance, takes oh. the fight, oh. takes the second. Oh, no. They're all falling apart! It's only on one! Nafly and Nitro side by side. He's got seven HP. Could be Jacob. Should be. He's been delivering time and time. Oh. Norwegian strikes. One. Onto Nafly. One bullet to land it and secure the semis. Apex! I am in disbelief. First major, first stage, no problems. Bask in the glory of this. Hard work pays off. Vitality, they badly need this round. It's an absolutely desperate state of affairs. That's the one of the players gone. The flank is out of it. Apex now with a one versus two, and he's good for it. Picks off vault and runs straight on there. And they could have probably bought a bit more time. They could have played it a little bit safer, but with the kit on his back, it's going to be another round for Vitality. Agar. This is such a wonderful opening. Cypher's getting so much room to work with. But Apex here knows exactly where the follow-up peak is going to be. Rallon and Thomas, they're right there in front. A little bit of a peak here, Dupree. He's good for one more shot. He's got a couple of bullets left. Hasn't really reloaded yet. And he's getting edged up. He needs some backup, and he will not be there in time. Cypher with the duel. He's now one versus two, trying to hunt them down. Oh, they're staying hidden. No he way. should be dead, but he hits the headshot coming back. He's no. looking for it, and there's no way! <laughs> he's taken the last one down into the breach. A shocking the Counter-Strike world. You can't stop this guy and give themselves some room to work with. That's a good find. They need the headshots to create the space, but they swing out a little bit too wide. Double kill for Rollins. All the traits are there, and Zyru with the rebuttal. Three headshots, but Cypher's still alive. Yeah, he's here. Run for the flames to try and meet them at the bomb site, And he doesn't want to give it up easy. He would love to get a triple back to see, put Zyru in his place. 
The three is a bit low on health, so there is a way to turn it into a one versus two. Shot for the smoke might have been the exactly perfect way to do it. Bomb being planted on the other side. He's trying to see if he can find him. And they know where he is. Definitely know. Sai was going to get the last one as well. A quad kill to get them back on top. Hank. He's just set up for it. Easy on the first spray. Continues. Binks holding down Mouse one and getting a lightning fast quad kill. Into, into the breach. They're not good enough. But Roland is responding. One quick kill. Retake still going to be tough. And it's Magus to deliver a couple into a 1v1. Ridiculous, he hunted him down, what a headshot. Now Cypher is looking for him, but that bomb is down there, ticking away. Cypher, yeah, he's oh. running, but he will get shot down, busted out of it. Maybe use some grenades at the right time. Crucial and Vault have actually grouped up, and they might be able to catch them right at the edge of the bomb site. This is pretty good, the spray. It's actually immaculate. Vault has just completely picked them apart. Swing right into the Ops crosshair, but the shot doesn't land. Oh, but it's Cypher instead with the organ play. Cyrus with the bomb on the other side, and Apex will find that kill eventually, even hunting into the AWP, but it's already far gone from that position. Cypher continuing, that's the bomb on the ground, and he's gonna recommit to it. He's got such a trust in his aim, and he will take down Apex. Rallon clearing out Dupree, and now it's just Spinks. He's been lurking outside of the B-bomb site for a real long time. One versus four, there's Ooh. enough that he could do. Cypher will find him a quad kill here. Continue marching forward. Four to two, and Vitality out of money. Away. Apex has started the show up as well. All they have to do is keep their distance. Saibu with a spray through the smoke. He's good. He will mow them all down. Into the breach. Hasn't been able to figure it out. Rollin with an AK. Needs something. He's got the first. That Sphinx distracted by fights from behind. But the free lying in wait. Apex adding in as well. And it's all shut down again. Vitality yeah. continues forward. They have got a chance of it. Oh, but Cypher, he just runs on there, opening up and cracking up with the bomb site. There's nothing they could do. He's decided to win the round, Jason. Three kills and hardly any rebuttal at all. 12, 27th round. This is really hurting the economy on the Vitality side. We're in an interesting position. What a time for Cypher to step up. It's been quiet on this map. This might also be a risk, but at least we're not going to be running through the smoke. Let's try Hadian's to see if we can rotate back. It's not, the, it's not a bad move right now. Hadian, he's the only one here. Shush is coming in with CT spawn. He's going to get shut down. They should have known that something was up, but they just weren't ready for it. Shush, good shot onto Kiosk, but the bomb is still in the hands of Suhei. Oh, they're going to run right into oh. it. Even with the spray down, he mows them all right down. And it's Tessa's on his own with absolutely nothing to do. Yeah, be up close. Sure, if you swing into that right now, but what happens if another 20 seconds go by? They're gonna try and see if they can test it out right here, and they just get the opening. Sure, the Molotov is down, but they're still fighting. Isaac, two great headshots to open up the middle with. And it's a three versus four. Tess isn't down, though. They are aggressive, and they're holding it still. They don't have any more grenades, and they're leaving Stown alone. Jason, this seems like madness. Yeah, because mid's exposed as well. It's Stown, just him. And they're quiet. Tessus is coming back now, but it might be a little bit too late. He's gonna call it in. There's the bomb on the ground, but Tessus is getting overrun. And Stown, he can't escape. He has to stay in this tiny corner to fight for the death, and it's gonna be Acor to take him down. Oh my god, yeah, they're just finding everything. Katie and... It's a look for a fight. One fight before the bomb is tapped. Is he gonna rotate all the way around? It looks like it. In a position where you could get those wall bangs, especially if they're defusing for 10 seconds. Oh god, that kit. Could end up making the whole difference here. Kios, yeah, they're gonna be smoking it off, but the Stown really care at this point. Tapping the bomb once, he walks right through and Stown, it doesn't get any better than that. Now a lot of trouble, 10 seconds on the other side. He actually will hit him down to 25 health and he has to come off the bomb and Stown in a one versus three to bring Heroic back into this opening map. This game, whether you win or lose, to think about it. Right now, all oh, in the middle. There it is. Shush, the spray, it's immaculate. Taking down four of them. And Immer on the duelies. Just running away from the action, but yeah, a little display of power from Shush. Yeah, well, give us a little cowboy glimpse if you're Immer. Go for a couple kills of his duelies. Gonna turn around, he's gotta find the range, the distance, the time to pounce. Oh boy, Shush with an ace. Same recipe for heroic. Four people entering. Kios flashed into the fight, but the counter flashes are just as good. Eight four, on the double, back with a triple, and that will be plenty of enough. That's the firepower that they need. This is all on Kadian. First shot is his, and he delivers. 
Yeah, taking out Kios. It's a good start for Immer. Swinging back into it. One kill, one more step in the right direction. Kadian getting hunted down, but he knows Scott Suhe. It's all gone in this one. Aiko killed at the end. That is what you want to see out of the captain of Heroic. You're right. Kadian, a new position down in the pit. He does get the leg shot. Immer is coming in from the apartments. There might be a shot at it here still. 16 seconds. Suhi with the one opening stout inside of the smoke. He's dropped the bomb on the ground and he continues to spray. This is a god like defense from Stown, and he will shut it all the way down. Akor, there's nothing he can do inside. He is out of time. Stown to the rescue for Heroic. Trying to recover this round, trying to win the map for his team, trying to get to a third and keep the semi final alive. Isaac, he's got some health left on him as well, but the reload right on top. Hold the phone, hold on. They're trying to get the bomb plant down. Even getting blown up, and Isaac, he gets the. Score. there to help him out but already gushed down Imma can almost make the full 180 spin to get that kill but not quite and Yabby he's the league and click by click there just oh. Canadian with a drive by the takedown chaos and Sue and Acor trying to fight their way back but they're running out of space there's nowhere left to live on this bomb site Kadian just running agonizing them Jason that's it that's an attitude this is a round from Kadian that just shows he is here to win this map that is bonkers. Look out, got Legion. It. They've got to cross this with flashbangs. That's all they have, and it might be all they need. Yeah, that's a good setup to begin with. Yabby. Oh, he gets out Imma. Everything is working for him right now. Shush and Tess is there at CT spawn, and Kadian's on the other side. 20 seconds left. Isaac coming in with the AK and just snipes him out. Holy they were not ready for it. 15 shit. seconds. Clock is running down real low, but they're fighting for it. Tess is the only one left as the bomb is being planted in the B-bomb site. And he's low on health already. Gamer Legion, the late round calling on this one is got here. Emma finding another kill. That's mental. And this is this round, Heroic had their chances. A missed opportunity there for Yabby that lets Emma know where his position is. Oh, you're right, that was. Yeah. Oh my god. It's not even Isaac, it's not even the Lurk. That is not gonna let this one slip away. Oh, a little bit of a peek up, maybe. Yabby good for the double, certainly. Even if Acor, I don't even know how, but he won the fight against Stown down in the underpass. So it's still a three on three. Yabby will continue. Again, somebody has to be that person to step it up. Yabby now with a quad kill, looking to try and see if he can get the ace, but certainly he's already won the round for his team. Yeah. That's the kind of performance, but meet up with Stown Isaac. He's still in the bomb site, and he is good for that opening kill. Now, that's going to draw Ima back. That's a huge red flag. They know what's coming. Suhei on the kill as well. And now Yabby and Kadian are showing up. Ima with the spray down. He's so good. The follow up. He is immortal. It's just Tess's left. And there's nothing to do. Game Legion with a legendary run to make the grand finals of the final major in CSGO. Does he start with a bang? The woo. Ready, present, and correct, and it's Zywa with the feed to start. JL, okay, okay, the chosen one is here, starting as he means to go on, popping three. He's normally the B defender, and Apex is over towards A, so let's see how this unravels into the gun round, the run boost, as they're going to mop him up here, Zywa with another few, oh. and there it is. Quick little quad, neat and tidy, seven kills, two rounds. And Magis looking for his first frag. Oh, he denied and not built upon it. It's only Zaiwu. But that might be all they need. Oh, oh the chosen one. He's doing it all as he misses his chance. He can't get away. Contribute on the AWP. And say yes, he can. Cancels the bomb plan. Lurk smoke here, they can play around this. That's scary for the boys of Apex. Steeko, JL, what can you do? They want Dupree's to fight. low, they want to bring the fight to them, but this all hangs in the balance. Perfect from Zaiwu. What's back, JL, have you got it in ya? He could, but with three HP, they're both hanging on by a thread. One bullet will do it. 10 seconds, it doesn't matter, JL! Clutches up for Apex and injects some hope. A quad kill from the Lithuanian. Second round for Apex will come through, and one of the factors that fed to this was JL's heroics here. He was able to isolate a lot of these fights. You can see that shot Beautiful. that sticks, an absolute blinder right there, and then just whittling them down time after time. Great clutch here. It all hinges on Steeko, but this was just the eco. 
Can he save him again? First it was Jacob. Nade looks good. Not quite. Spotted them both. He's ready for the fight, perhaps on the MAC-10. He can find more. Running him down. Apex pushing the limits. No bullets. Has to use the Glock. This is uncomfortable. Apex overextends. 15. Dupree. Oh my god. What can you do? Oh, no! Again with the Glock. Nico with the Glock, no less. Breakthrough. Nico. He's opened up the account. At least one frag to celebrate for Apex. Not in a hurry, but they might be now. Apex caught out. Spinks, however, on the whew, on the double. It's Spinks. JL overextends into him. Leaves us on that two-one-two. -two. Bomb on the floor as well. Stiko again. I can't believe it. Low HP. He's repositioned and it's worked perfectly. Stiko, the man of the hour for he Apex. He has been monstrous. The tractor. The luxury oh. on this side. This is the opener. Bang. Dead. Nay. Done. Kicks in. Now the Puppet Master from the grave. This is important for Seiko. Magic's got the jump on him there, shooting the first shots. And this is the re-aggress, this time out of Palace. Sphinx had no idea where that fight could be coming from and when. Of the table. And spotted out. Nice work. Doesn't finish it off. It's Apex to provide. And Jacob, not long for this world. Apex makes sure of that and another for him. A triple from Mr. Mattisclair. And that's Sphinx to close. They will take the edge, foe, but damage as well. Look at Nork, look at JL. They're all bleeding out. As are the hopes for Apex here. JL holds on for one. Sphinx noted in mid. They need to hit the heady. Sphinx the one to do so. And JL should be a dead man. Hiding in stone, the smoke and playing around it. There's no way. Stick it. There's no way. It. He just Sphinx has to sit chase it. him. Right in his face. Him. I wouldn't believe it. I wouldn't. But I don't. No, no, no. No, 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 not yet. Not yet, Vitality. 15, the crowd thought they had it. No, no, no. 5 HP. Yeah, and JL Five. denies. He was jumping around in the smoke. He's like Neo, dodging bullets. And just as it hit zero, the crowd thought they had it. I thought they had it. And they're still in it. And Nork, he's going aggressive and connect. Oh! Headshot from the headshot from Nork. He can't be stopped. You have to kill him yourself. Popping off so much. Jacob's naked him. Apex forward gets nothing done. And that is another sensational round out of Nork. Up to J. Allen Stiko to convert all of that hard work. And it's up to Magis to disrupt. Smoke down, shots fired, bomb on his back. Yeah, JL's and coming, man. JL's coming. He's gunning for the close. They know. They know. Oh! No! <laughs> Wait. Yeah, it is. It's brute force. And look at the diligence. The flash is good, and JL's dead. Look at them go. Two, three, double. Apex in trouble. Going for the perfect one. Everyone alive and kicking. But this pressure is not being felt by Vitality. Smokes hit a block and Zywo. Oh, Zywo. He is going for something a little audacious. Jacob's so aware. Takes down one. Sphinx is still here. Yeah, I don't know if JL's going to confirm this. Yes, he is. A big one. And Madge is pushing, punished. Clean. And remains so. Jacob, another. A triple in back-to-back -back rounds from Jacob. He's here now, and so are Apex. Too threatening, but Zywu always is, and there's one. Finishes the job, and another from Jacob. Really heating up now. He's just launched himself to the 13 frag total. And with it, Vitality's hopes of converting. Three frags, I mean, that's not to be snuffed at. A decent damage, right, if you're, if you're gonna take it from that angle, short. Dupree, just trying to make a couple more go down with him, but... Hanging on by a thread, 20 HP. Zywu on to JL, leaves it all on to Kickson, he's been quiet. Can the North Macedonian leader give him anything to celebrate? The spray is good, Apex low. Off he's the bomb, and Kickson says, play on! But with Zywu's help, it may not be of concern. Madness can Zywu... No! Oh! Madness repels, spraying three! Never mind. Smoke is good. Zywu 
needs one and provides it. Kickson only the one back. Two, somehow fumbling on the silence of his side. Will give him a chance. Kickson goes down. Knock on the bomb plant. Should be a dead man. And it is. Secures it, a triple kill, had a Monsieur elbow, and now <laughs> we've never had a trumpet. <laughs> Outstanding. Kostyuk is Sphinx as sharp as attack, and he's ready for this attack. He's coming. <laughs> Triple kill to acquire certainty. JL, he's gonna be all alone. No, Stiko's the one, and he's only got 19 HP. He's got nothing, absolutely nothing. And I was coming for you with the pistol. Throws away the orb, says, I know what I need to finish it clean, oh! and it costs him. Brought down 15 is all the damage dealt. Stiko's dig, no way. No, not now. How is he still alive? He's down to 2 HP. He somehow lives on, and now they're pushing oh, in. Oh. It's magic. Stories like these. Zaiwu extends forward, slaps down Acor. That's the off exchanging hands. Let's see if Chaos gets his first. No, it's Isaac. Tech 9 connects. Sphinx has been everywhere whenever Gamer Legion press, but around the boxes, Isaac's able to catch yet another. And Apex's position gets clear. It's a drive-by on the Tech 9. A triple kill entry that takes the wind out of Vitality sails, puts that bomb down, and still leaves them now with weapons. Double op. This is an excellent spot for Gamer Legion, assuming the others can also swing with the two-handed Warhammer. Kios posts up on long, Flash comes over, excellently done! Magus only able to undo the first, and this one falls on Dupree, the omnipresent, dead! Didn't even use the primary weapon that he picked up, Tech 9 to get the second frag, and you could see that Zaiwu was in jeopardy of getting swarmed. A slower pace round would have allowed him to fall back, but after the opening duel, a great flash out of Gamer Legion. Zaiwu's ready, but Acor bests him! And now Apex is left to clutch. They're close, so close! Point blank! He shoots! It's so damn close! The pistol! Just the pistol is all he needs! One messy 1v2, but he slurped it all up. He loved every little bit of that. Versus Apex and the Wu. And there's a bit of space offered up from both sides, but now time decides. We're beyond that halfway point. Smoke goes, tap on bomb. Shuhei nails the first kill. Zaiwu taps it yet again, but it is Shuhei to close. To press up, wary of his flank because Zaiwu has already shown face. And speaking of it, to get torn right off. Now this is no longer the stick. Shuhei comes off of that defuse. Zaiwu has a hell of a chance here. And all the CTs turning towards his teammate deal with him on. Oh! It is a wonderful 4K. Ima gargoyling on the top of this ramp has gone unchecked. A beautiful moment. Five, seven snaps. Two kills from the corner and a third with just the sidearm. There he is. Aim high, me high. Says never ever shoot and below the neck. Belt time on top of that. Welcome to the series. Welcome to the grand finals. More of it coming in from Maine, but here comes Vitality's onslaught. It's an attempt and it's a near double. Dupree can't get that heaven kill and Shuhei, he'll use this chance to claw it back. But Dupree is alive and fighting. The Eternal strikes down three. Ima from within the smoke draws it back. Zaiwu drop bomb down with him. Acor, where is he? Low health, and Apex can't manage his. It falls on Dupree. No ace, no 4K. Shuhei saves them. Ima with a massive play. Shuhei with the flash in, and that helps a ton too. Three could have died in heaven just to Dupree. But Launders, we already have a player back This is an excellent rotation out of Shuhei. He takes a risk in getting all the way back sight, but does he get spotted? Ooh, not without taking two. Yeah, Sphinx covered in the blood of Magisk. And now he's got a friend. 
He's finally got Imma back as a second core rifler on this team. No, oh, Acor doing his part outside, still somewhat undamaged. Done to two. But it is still a similar scene to what we got in that last one. And I would say that with Vitality feeling as comfortable as they did on B, with no challenge coming out of Gamer Legion's rotate downstairs, then why wouldn't you play this again? But the difference is Ima. Quick glimpse, catches Apex with his side turn. His teammate's coming in from control, but does he even need help? Not so far! Does it all! And Sphinx back inside of the lobby will be turned elsewhere. There is nothing left for Vitality in round 14. Looking like... Nade in hand again to assist, to punish the push. Zywoo's got him now. He's making a ton of sound. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The push with the Fall flash. back. Oh, it's a multi. Zywoo's got that fresh mag ready for some more. Ready for a third serving. How many courses to this meal as Zywoo pops right back up? Just one after another. To hell with your force by win. They've put Zywoo at the front of it. Not even with his off, but just flashy with the rifle. And I'll also argue Gamer Legion somewhat spread out. Timing and tethering that afforded Zywoo a chance to peel off each player one at a time and took every single one of them down without taking a single bit of damage back. Zywoo just pulled off that 3K perfectly. Oh, man. The Lilu! But they turn back because they're so afraid. And then they walk into Apex, the only two Frenchmen to take it in a major on French soil. Isaac with everything on him. Vitality show! It's a full house from the French! No holds back! No surrender! Never give up, folks. An unbelievable moment here. If you're here to witness it for the first time, soak it up. Because you've just witnessed greatness. And you've just witnessed history. And you've just witnessed Sai Wu get his chip. You've witnessed Dupree break a record. Majes get four. Apex do it as an IGL. And Sphinx without Snappy. Look at the Vitality. The last CSGO Major Trophy awaits you. Go and grab it!